Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cliff with Paint Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're gonna be working in Lutz, Florida. We're gonna be doing a driveway cleaning here for this customer. We're gonna be doing a three car garage, driveway, sidewalks, and walkway. And in the back, we're gonna be doing a pool deck and a pool cage. Uh, we got three jobs in the schedule today. Tomorrow, the next one actually is a house wash in the driveway. And to finish out the day, we got a, a roof cleaning. So it's gonna be a nice ticket day, man pretty solid to start off the year i hope y'all been having a good time with the channel if you're new make sure you go ahead and subscribe drop me a like and if you got any questions just drop a comment below man so let's check this job out so this is the sidewalks here you can see it's pretty dirty this is the driveway got a big algae stain right there in the middle i'll we'll clean that up in the back we got the pool deck and the pool cage we are going to start from the back and work our way forward so let's go to the back now all right this is the back we all covered by a bunch of edges over here so we ain't gonna have to do that much cleaning on this side of the cage so uh because i work down for us right we'll try to clean the top sections that we can I have to walk through this little pathway. Um, the cage here is not terrible. A little bit of algae on it. But nothing crazy like that. You can see some dirt over here on this side. You can see uh, all up through here. Some algae building up on the screens. And this is the pool deck. They already moved everything out for me. So I appreciate that. So this is the inside. You see, I. Got some of that green, that green tent on there. You do your property inspection, go around, look at the screens. Make sure that, you know, things like this, you just get on camera. Missing paint. Over here got more green because, oh yeah, you can see it. Downstreaming is gonna be the method. I'm using the Super Sud Sucker Downstream Injector. Uh, it's my favorite injector by far. When I even have to uh, surface clean the deck, sometimes the uh, the mix breaks it all off, and you can just rinse it off. You saw that missing paint on that cage down there. So this is an older deck. But we're gonna bring it back to life. Of course, those damn rust stains not gonna come out. That's a whole different method. But all this green gotta go, gotta go. So that's the ticket. The overhead. I see a kind. Of, I kind of see a loose screen right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see a little spot right there. So we definitely gonna have to be careful. I'm gonna be using my soap tip to rinse and apply the chemical. So I don't, I'm not applying any um, pressure. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start soaping from the outside, moving the inside. All right, we're gonna try to get as, as much as we can on the outside before we go on the inside.
enjoying the one cam. Oh, this is a one cam. <laughs> um, I got everything soaked up right now. Like I said, dwell time might be a little bit more than usual. So I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna let all that sit right there. See if it comes up like butter. All right, we're back at the starting point where we started from earlier. We're gonna do the same exact order. Rinse out here and go inside, all right? I'm using my uh, soap tip because I don't wanna apply too much pressure on these things. Take a look. This is the the deck over here, like it was rubbed off by something, but pressure washer is not gonna take that off. And over here, that's from the dripping right there. It just wore it out. That's one of the main reasons I didn't surface clean it. I just went ahead and just pretty much rinse it, put the SH down and rinse it. All this area cleaned up pretty well. See that big spot right there? That's the corner. It drips down right here. Roll that, roll that all the way out, man. So we got all this right here cleaned up. Cage is looking white. My beams are cleaned up. No algae. We're gonna go ahead and um, go up front now and knock out the driveway. Making good time, 10.30. I started about 9.30. Perfect timing. See you guys at the front. All right, we're gonna start off on the driveway now. I'm gonna downstream and mix down.
all finished here. Ran into a little issue. I had uh, ran out of water and gas. But uh, I post treated the concrete just to brighten it up a little bit. I only have no lines. That's not lines, that's just soap. Looking pretty good. Walkway is done. Oh, I missed a spot right there. Look at that. I gotta clean that up. Everything up here is looking good. That's why you do your walk around, make sure everything is in place. Pull out 50 feet and clean that up. Post treated the sidewalks. Y'all remember how black the sidewalks were? So she's good to go. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and clean that little spot up and then um, go up to the next job. I'll see y'all when I get there. Okay, we at the second job for the day. We're gonna be doing a house wash as well as a driveway cleaning for a returning customer. Um, I serviced this house about two years ago and as well as last year, if I'm not mistaken, 2020 and 2021. So um, it's a small house. I think it's like 1,200 square feet. Um, the side, uh, the driveway is pretty small too. I think this job might take like an hour, maybe hour and 15 minutes. So nothing big to it. Let's check it out. All right, so we got a small little garage, two car garage, pretty basic. A little bit of algae starting to build up on it. Like I said, I cleaned it up a little bit over a year ago, so Actually don't look that bad, but the, the walkway has some green on it. Right here, you can tell. It's pretty bad right here. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the house. I don't think the house is gonna be that dirty. The customer actually said she was gonna try to clean it herself, but the power of the following up wouldn't be denied. <laughs> Got to follow up, guys. Um, you know, if you follow up with a customer that said no, you know, give them about six months checking checking again. You know, three months, six months. Uh, oh, something big back there, boy. Okay. Um, <laughs> six months. You know, say a year. If they say no, just come back at them. You know, the no is for. You know what I'm saying? Not right now. Not forever. You know what I'm saying? This is pretty dirty too. I might go ahead and clean that up for her. Like I said, this house is not dirty at all, really. I don't see no algae. Check out this other side. Maybe we have some action. The face is a little dirty, but nothing too crazy. I don't see too much green. Got a little bit of green underneath the window right here. Last time I was here, the window was open. Let me show it is still open. I think that's open. Let me make sure before I start spraying. <laughs> um, this is the layout of the job. We're gonna start soaping. It's a small house. I could technically soap the whole house and rinse the whole house if I wanted to. So let me make sure that window is not um, open. I think the window was open, guys. Let's go see. She's going around right now. This one hey, here. No. Is that one open? Huh? Yeah, that one's all right. That's the garage. Yeah. Should I let that one down? Yeah, I don't want to spill water in there. Oh, okay. Now yeah, those ones are closed. Yeah, it was just this one here. Oh, this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the garage. Okay, I'll let that one down. All right, thank okay, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Getting that good soap on right now. See the suds. I've been going crazy with that stinky icky, man. <laughs> I've been going crazy with it.
saying? I got that bazooka with the SH in it. You guys, so everything is soaked up. Driveway, right side, front side, back side. We're gonna run from the back, move to the front. And I got this left side of the house. Jump on this driveway next. All right, easy, easy. job like I said we're gonna take that long it took me an hour to do both the house wash and the driveway let's go ahead and check it out so this is my sidewalks everything's clean got the curbs cleaned up to the property line up to the drain everything over here looking good facial was a little dingy but got it cleaned up I got the walkway that had that green stuff. Gutters are nice and clean. Let's take you guys around the sides. I made sure I didn't wash her garage. <laughs> so that's not how you get a car wash, ma'am. She had that window open, but um, the fascia is looking good, drip edges cleaned up real good 
I always like to do a little lap around to make sure I ain't miss nothing. Try not to pack your equipment up like I did on the last job. Don't pack it up till you do your walk around and also check in with the customer to make sure everything's good because it sucks to pack everything up and they're like, oh, can you do this? Can you hit this right here? And you gotta un un unroll everything. I cleaned up the fence that was dirty over here. It was only like two panels, no charge for that. No charge for that, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, but everything is good. I'm gonna show you guys how I rinse out my downstream injector to make it last. My last one lasts me two years, man. So let's check it out. All right, so we're in the back of my van now. This is my downstream injector. You just see it right here. Right there, so it's connected to this three-way quarter inch ball valve. Left side, this clear one goes to my SH. This right one right here goes to my buffer tank. Oh, you see it right here, I'm jiggling it. And this one goes to my SH tank. So when I want to rinse, when I'm done working, because right now, this, right, this line is full of SH, because that's what I was using last. This is a little selector, it's on this side. So now I want to rinse my hoses, I'm going to flip it to this side to pull out rent, uh, fresh water. This is just so I don't have to pull out a bucket of water, dump it in water uh, to rinse it out. Everything is just ball valves, man. Make it easy. Everything in here is compact. Uh, you can do it the other way too if you want, but this is how I do it. So I'm gonna show you guys the SH coming out and then it's gonna turn clear. And uh, I don't have to like do anything like as far as like soaking in it in water. Everything gets rinsed out, the hoses get rinsed out too. So let's check it out. Alright okay, guys, so SH, we're gonna put it on water. You should see SA start coming out. There it is. It's all clear water now. So uh, what I do, I just let that run and flush everything out a little bit more as I'm wrapping up. You know, give it a good five minutes or so. And then uh, I can just turn everything off. I'll be back and I'll show you what I'll show you guys what I do next. Alright, I'm back. Now that you know everything's flushed out. You know, I can just turn my machine off. I put this little selector thing in the middle, the ball valve. So that way air station is not coming out of it, water's not coming out of it. You know, it's pretty much let me show you guys look nothing's coming out now if I had left it on the SH this line that goes to my injector would have fill back up that way it's gonna corrode the injector this little thing right here it's a lifesaver I keep like two or three of them on me man just in case I had this one for at least six months already so Okay, you guys, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead and put these hoses up. This is my last time using the downstream today. I got a roof wash next, so I'll see y'all when I get there. All right, you guys, we're at the final job for the day. Right now, we're in Lutz, Florida. We're gonna be doing this two-story roof cleaning. This nice house over here. Um, I already got Big Bertha perched up up there. 32-foot <laughs> uh, fiberglass uh, ladder. That thing heavy, y'all. Gotta be a man to pick that thing up. Especially when you gotta <laughs> pull it up to reach up there. Yes, sir. But um, as you guys can see, it's a two-story roof, uh, shingle roof over here. It's not that bad. It's not covered, um, but it's uh, one-story uh, area. Got a little algae on it. Uh, there's no plants around, really, so I'm good with that. I thought I was gonna have to water down a lot of plants. I still will water these ones down in the back before I start um, and over here it looks like a porch I'm not sure how strong that thing is it looks really sturdy I should be able to walk on it yeah this back area is much more darker than the front if you look 
on that corner, you can see that grayish looking and everything over here is black. So that's the color of the roof. I'll give you guys a closer look when I get up top. All right, so you guys see how black the back area is compared to the front. I mean, this one has some streaks too, but not as bad as the back. And down there, it looks crazy because it didn't look that dirty down there, but it's definitely dirty. I'm, only, I'm gonna be using a 6% mix on here. I did turn my surfactant up a little bit, make it stick. Um, I'm gonna start on this second story. I like to walk on roofs, man. Uh, if I can get up here, it's easy for me to spray. Didn't have to find, uh, fight the wind. So, uh, man, I'll just get up here. If it's walkable, at least. If it's not safe, I'm not gonna get up here. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and spray the mix on here now. We got the top section sprayed. You see a big difference already. I touched up a few sections. I see it's a little dark. That's where the algae was uh, thicker. But um, I don't rinse roof, so once it rains, it's gonna um, rinse it off. Make it look better, but everything is treated. I'm gonna go ahead and get down to the first section, which is the worst one. I mean, you can see a difference between how dark that down is compared to this up here. Looking pretty good.
now you guys we got the section over here cleaned up you see a big difference on how it looked earlier same thing for this back porch the roof was super black over here but we got some color like i say it's gonna look better when it rains everything get rinsed off it's gonna look fantastic but you guys can see a big difference over here on this side of the roof that was the worst the front wasn't as bad still had a little bit of algae on it that's cleaned up also up there should, should be kind of dry so i'm gonna go up there and do a recap for you guys sorry i couldn't talk too much on this video i had my mask on since you guys want me to wear the mask so i couldn't commentate on here too much today all right guys let's go upstairs let's take a look at the top shot cleaned up like i said when it rains it'll, it'll get rinsed overhead view of the worst side see that spot right there it'll be gone when it's rain when it gets rained on because i treated it twice and of course that back section over there the thing is looking pretty good oh yeah look at that i should have took a picture up here it looks dark right there but that's those spots are dry or drier those are not streaks it's weird how it looks on camera but in, in person it doesn't look like that look at that bam all right guys so same concept as the downstream injector everything is running through three-way ball valves so i can rinse them out i don't have to pull out nothing put in the bucket and take out my sh tank put it in my buffer tank you know what i'm saying none of that so basically when i have this ball valve down like this it's drawing from this hose underneath right here and this hose is going into this sh tank which is about 20 gallons left of this so it's drawing out of here coming through here to my metering valve where i can turn whatever percentage i want when i'm done i flip it in the up position now it's, it's gonna draw from this hose on top this hose right here and that hose is going to my buffer tank it's pre-wired so i don't have to move this hose that's in here take it out of there put it in my water and too much moving man i just flip this up rinse this out of here and i just let it flush as i'm wrapping up everything up all finished man look at that roof man see from the road looking good all right you guys we all finished for the day three projects that roof came out great um the customers wasn't home so i had to just take pictures for them they left me to check before i got here uh, i just got a call from uh one of my subscribers uh he's been watching the channel and he doesn't i don't think he pressure washes but i'm saying he just liked the content and um the good vibes on the channel so he just called me to tell me you know what i'm saying keep up the good work you know what i'm saying Hope I have a good 2023 season. So it's pretty cool to, to get uh, these kind of calls, man. So I appreciate y'all support. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel and you're watching, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell so you can see the new videos I put up. I put out like maybe like three to four videos out of every week. And I do a little short videos too for you guys. So uh, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me. Drop a comment if you got any questions. Um, and then that's it, man. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.